Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again for another out and about video for you guys today. I'm on the streets of Hollywood yet again. Yep, to go on over to the Chinese theater for a very special movie screening tonight, which I'll tell you guys about in just a moment. But you may be asking yourselves, where's that music coming from? It's coming from this gentleman at the bus stop, playing his heart out, like Carlos Santana. But like I said in uh, other videos, you never know what you're gonna see over here in Hollywood. But yeah guys, uh, this is the movie I'm gonna be going to see today, Bride of Chucky and Seed of Chucky, uh, in theaters tonight. But the cool thing is, about the screening, Don Manzini, the creator of Child's Play, and uh, Jennifer Tilly, Billy Boyd are all going to be there in person. But I know a, a group of the crew members are going to be there tonight. But I'm also bringing one other item on over there. Of course, I have to bring House Arrest, my favorite Jennifer Tilly movie of all time, in hopes that she'll sign it for her brother. Before I head on over to the Chinese theater, I need to get something to eat because I haven't had anything all day. It's about 5.30 in the afternoon right now. Well, everyone, I came across this place in Hollywood Boulevard and I just got some, you know, warm pita bread and some hummus over here. I'm gonna down this and then head on over to the Chucky event. Guys, check this out. I didn't know Stormtroopers had cell phones. Stormtroopers on his phone going, God damn it. God damn it. Where's my Lord and Master Darth Vader? He needs to try to contact him. He just doesn't know what he's doing, but he needs to contact him somehow as Wonder Woman and Jack, Captain Jack Sparrow just look on and not try to help the poor little Stormtrooper by himself. I'm sorry, Stormtrooper. Man, that's kind of sad when you see a spaceman not know how to use a cell phone. You know what I mean? He's trying to call his boss, but no one's there trying to help him. I would, but I don't know how to speak Sith, if you know what I mean. I don't know how to speak Dark Lord or anything like that. All right, everyone inside the TLC Chinese Theater and my homeboy Skyder just arrived over here wearing a Jurassic Park t-shirt, bro. Yeah, see, I, did, I didn't, I was too afraid to too, like, choose my shirt. I didn't know what I wore in the vlogs before. Yeah. I'm like, I don't think I wore this one. But dude, turn around, turn around. Look what you brought, man. Oh, shit. You brought Mr. Good Guy himself. Yeah. Chuck's, oh, yeah, man. This guy had a fake knife in there, too, but I hid it down there just in case. Yeah, no, you'll be fine. Okay, everyone. It's only about, like, 6 o'clock or something right now. The line is building up for the Chucky screening, and we just came across... The wolf pack. What's, what you guys doing? <laughs> is it right? It's the wolf pack, right? Monster Squad. Monster Squad. Why, do I keep, why, do, why do I keep calling it the wolf pack for? I think it's probably the NWO wolf pack. Yeah, yeah, I see this and then, like, I always get confused. Man, look at you. You're rocking over here with your good guy t shirt and everything and Puppet Master, bro. Well, see, I don't have a Chucky shirt, but editor from Brad and Chucky was also an assistant editor on Puppet Master back in the day. Okay, but well, at, at least he's wearing a, a Chucky shirt. My fat ass is rocking a Chucky t-shirt too. <laughs> I have to cover up because like, I don't want to get killed on the street, but I'm like, yeah, I'm, rock I'm rocking Chucky too. That's oh, what a good home. guy. <laughs> what a guy. Like, yeah. Look at Jose Prendes in the wild. Hey, yeah. crikey. Is that a Jose Prendes? I can't believe your wife let you out today, man. I know. Well, you know, uh... But you are one of the biggest Chucky fans out there. I am one of the biggest Chucky fans. Look at my belt, man. You even have a Chucky belt? Chucky's on my belt. Oh. I, have, I have a shirt for all of the movies. Okay. Except for Cedar Chucky for obvious, obvious reasons. reasons. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I don't think Cedar Chucky is everyone's favorite. No. No. But I, there's moments that are really good, but Yeah. I, are you excited for the new one, Cult of Chucky? Yeah, I am. I really like the sort of creepy reboot that they did with Curse. Yeah. Uh I don't know. I hope, really hope they pay it off with cults, so we'll yeah. see. I guess we'll find out, yeah. Look who just arrived over here. Luna Meow. First time over here at the Chinese Theater to hang out with the crew. Ah, uh, look who else showed up right here. We got Ivan and Momo. We saw you the other day over there at the fair. What up, bro? That was this morning. Oh, I know. It was the same day. What up, Mo? You all right? Did you, did you get up going to work or no? Yeah, look. Oh, oh. did. So, like, nerdy. Nerdy. I'm sorry. But are you guys ready for the Chuck? Yeah. Yeah, because you guys know you don't fuck with the damn right. So let's go on in. We have a whole we have a whole row, you know, set off for the crew, pretty much. Sweet. Yeah. Is so it like a, uh, like one of those special uh, unlimited buckets of popcorn thingy. No, we still have to pay for that. We're not we're not baller status yet. Okay, everyone. We have the whole crew right here, pretty much all in one section. We got the Chris's. We got the other. The, the pretty much the whole crew's here. I'm sitting next to Jose and the crew. Oh my God. The queen of the crew, Luna. That's like so nerdy. That, that's how we roll, man. Perfect. We're, we're like bung heads. We're like bung. Yeah, we're kind of we're kind of like a uh, lonely shadow shirt right there for yeah. people bung. Yeah, heads. see, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's it's, 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 it's kind of funny though. It felt like we're like the Three Stooges a little bit. It's okay. Yeah, that's all right. Hey, okay, you were finally touched by a girl. That's pretty cool. I was touched by your wife last time I hung out with her. So I'm quiet. Oh. oh. <laughs> Because we do have Jennifer Tilly in the house. I love you, Jennifer! Yeah! All your babies! Uh, and uh, we also have Billy Boyd!
<laughs> My first Chucky movie, I was 21. How old were you? A prodigy. When I made my first Chucky movie, I was a little bit younger than Katherine Heigl, but I aged very well. When um, Chucky fell in my lap, I had this um, sort of idea that I was going to be the next Kate Blanchett. And, but I also had a hard on to do major motion pictures because, you know, everybody knows that's where the money is and the stardom and everything. So my agent called up and he said, Jennifer, I have a movie for you. It's a starring role in a major motion picture. And of course, I got very excited. And then he goes, I go, what's it about? And he goes, well, it's about this little doll, and I went, a Chucky movie! I'm not doing any Chucky movies! And I never seen a Chucky movie, but I somehow thought that, you know, actresses that were going on the way to Superstar and did not do Chucky movies, and I had never read one, and then they, he said, just, you know, we'll send you the script, and they sent the script, and it was really, really, really good. And they said, Ronnie used directing, and I knew him from all the Hong Kong movies. And then I met David at the Bel Air Hotel. He paid for lunch, which was really <laughs> impressed me. And he had the Chucky doll in the trunk of his car. And then he said that him and that they wanted me. They said the studio wanted this actress from Baywatch. But they really saw me in the role, and I thought I was very oppressed, impressed with their acumen, and I felt like they had really good taste, that they really wanted me. In fact, Don said when he was writing it, he kept hearing my voice in his head. And so eventually I came around, and one of the reasons why I did is because a friend of mine, Gina Gershon, said, yeah. franchise. I would love to do the Chucky movie, and I think she was right next on the list or something. There was a time when Gina, Gina and I did, well, Gina and I did a movie called Bound together. Woo! We were both equally talented and equally naked. <laughs> and then there was a period of time when everywhere I would go to an audition, she'd be coming out, or I'd be going in, and you know. I, in fact, I was up for a face-off, which Gina got. And there was a time when Joel Schumacher wanted us to be sugar and spice in Batman, in that one, Batman movie. So we sort of, anyway, when she said that she wanted to do the Chucky movie, I was like, of course, well, you can't do it because I'm doing it. So. Well, Jose, Stalker, Chris. Yo, are you guys going to be down to wait to the end of the second movie now? Oh, fuck yeah, I paid for it. Hell yeah, bro. <laughs> Hell yeah, are, are you guys gonna be waiting? He's my right, so I have to stay. Hey, hey Luna, check this out. Check out what we just saw over here. Look at this. There's Freddy Krueger, but with a, a seed, the Chucky Seed. Yes. Like, that's awesome, dude. I, I like your, like your getup. You, you, you're not one of those people that stand out on the street and like, in Hollywood trying to get money? Oh, okay. So, are you gonna give him a dollar? Uh, I, have, I don't have cash on me. Oh, okay. All right, brother. Look, look, your woman's gone. Your woman, your woman disappeared on you. All right, she's with some other guy. I saw her walk out with him. He was dressed up, he was dressed up as Freddy and carrying a Glenn doll, and uh, he, was, he just walked out. I was trying to say, Momo, Momo, Ivan loves you, but she was just like, I don't care, I like these claws. It's the perfect moment. Jennifer Tilly's here. Oh, single. there you go. You're single, you ready to meet? Yeah, me too, let's do this. So now we're outside of the, of the screening right now. The first movie just ended, Bride of Chucky, and we have Billy Boyd. Uh, the guy who voiced uh, Glenn and Cedar Chucky taking pictures and uh, signing autographs for people. We even have some of the crew up over there trying to get their autographs down over here. But look at this man, it's like Selfie Central. Check this out man, we got the crew getting autographs by Billy Boyd right here, the man himself. Oh yeah, I like when the crew rolls strong like this man. That's how we do it. Billy Boyd and the, the editor and uh, the producer of the Child's Play movies just signed my Blu-ray and everything like that. They were taking pictures with everybody, which was kind of cool. But these guys, these three amigos, or uh, two chicas and an amigo have to go, and uh, me and this guy are gonna stay the long haul. I think me, me, you, and Scotty are still. Isn't Scott still here? Yeah, Scott's still in there. Okay, cool. So at least some of the crew's still here. Yeah. Yeah. But then you guys gonna have to go. Yeah. But guys, it was cool hanging out with you today. I'll see you guys next time. How you doing? Yeah. Oh, did, did me standing next to you to get you all? Have you have hot flashes? I'm sorry, I, I do that, I do that to women these days, but then they just kind of like, they kind of just run away. But it's okay, you guys can go, I'll stay with this guy, and my other homie right over here. What up, bro? Yeah, you staying till the end? Oh yeah, man. Okay. Sucky.
<laughs> well guys, the screening for the second movie, See the Chucky just let out. Now there's a line of people uh, waiting to get Jennifer Tilly's autograph or picture. Or... Oh my god, I haven't seen you since like the beginning of the whole the whole screening thing. How you, you doing you doing alright, Scott? Yeah. Uh, you gonna about to get the, are you gonna have them sign it if they do it? Yeah. Alright, cool man. I just didn't see you for a while. I'm like, did he disappear? <laughs> oh I guess not. He's in the masses of people up the stairs. Now we got the main man himself, Don Mancini, taking pictures with his with his fans and everything. The writer of all the child's play movies, Chucky movies, just chilling over here with a big old line of people up the stairs. It's gonna get wild and crazy over here. What about you, young man? What are you gonna be getting signed right now? Oh yeah. Your Chucky doll sign? That's what I'm talking about. Oh, how many people signed this one so far? Tom, Alex, David, Vincent, Don. That is cool. Billy Boyd. That's dope. Was all the people today or some other places too? This is from Mosapalooza. Mosapalooza, okay. Yeah, that's pretty dope, dude. So, Scotty Boy, you're about to leave? Yeah. And, oh, you got your, your oak. Oh, yeah. Don and Tilly signed the bottom. That's pretty cool. They're both so nice. there they are. So, you got your thing signed? Yes, sir. I have to get it. Awesome, dude. You Okay. All right. That's cool, man. That's cool, but you're your Audi? Yeah. All right. All right. We're all getting out of the theater right now. We just had the Chucky screening in here. Well worked. And everyone got their signatures and everything? Yeah. Signatures, lots of photos. Yeah, that was cool, man. I met Jennifer Tilly, got a photo with her, and she signed my, uh, what's it called? You'll see it later. The house guest wait, wait, DVD wait, and my stuff. Hoarding ups? Huh? On your hoarding up? My hoarding up? You said signature later? Hoarding oh, up. I don't know. This, it, maybe, maybe I'll like, you know, Instagram it or something. Oh, yeah. But, uh... <laughs> Uh, it's the always, picture is worth a thousand words. There you go. I know. It's always fun chilling, <laughs> chilling with the crew, even though half the half, half of our posse left already. We stay. Yeah, oh well, here. Jose. Yeah. You okay, man? I'm exhausted, but uh, I gotta drive your ass home, so I have to be okay. Hey, you're the one that offered. Hey. Oh, um, nice, but it's too yeah. late to be nice. Yeah. Get the fuck home. All right, guys. <laughs> we'll see you all in the next video. Bye. <laughs>